Eight on Your Side has obtained a newly released body cam video from police in Utah, revealing more details in the, into the Gabby Petito homicide case. The video shows us more insight into the actions between Petito and her fiance Brian Laundrie when someone called police after seeing them in a domestic violence incident. News Channel 8's Christine McClarty is live in Northport from the Laundrie family home with the latest on this. Christine? Good morning, Evan. The couple lived here in the laundry home months before going on this road trip where they ultimately got on a fight. Domestic violence experts say the more we learn about that fight, the more concerning it is. Do you slap your face or what? Well, like he like, grabs me like, with his nail and I guess that's why it looks like I definitely have a cut right here. It's like a peel of yeah. like, it burns. In this newly released footage, we're seeing more footage of Gabby distraught and hyperventilating and Brian relatively calm and collected. Moab police say they didn't feel the situation was a domestic assault and no charges were filed. However, the president and CEO of a certified domestic violence center in Hillsborough County, Mindy Murphy, says police should have asked Brian a lot more questions. Murphy says anytime a partner is willing to restrict airflow of another, they have the potential to kill. She demonstrated for law enforcement um, the way Brian had grabbed her by the face. That was a perfect opportunity for them to have said, has Brian ever grabbed you by the face before? Has he ever put his hands around your neck? Has he ever attempted to restrict your airflow? These are all high-risk indicators um, for lethality. Coming up in our next half hour, details about why experts say the victims of domestic violence are usually the first ones to say what they did wrong. Reporting live in Northport, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side. All right, Christine, thank you. 8 on your side will continue to follow the latest developments on the investigation into the death of Cabby Petito and the search for Brian Laundrie. We have an entire section on our website, WFLA.com, dedicated to the case.